Appreciate you being part of In the Trenches with Dave Lapham, brought to you by First Star Logistics, as always, in our outstanding studios. Defensive coordinator Lou Anarumo. Man, these players are playing hard for him. That's first and foremost. But the players are excited about what Lou Anarumo is doing with them. They love the diversity. They love the fact that they've got quarterbacks off balance. They love the fact that they can do so many things. And Lou Anarumo is emphasizing their skill sets. It's going to be very interesting to see how they handle things against the Cleveland Browns. Kansas City Chiefs. Bengals shut them out in the fourth quarter. I'm going to talk about that. Watson is now the quarterback of the Cleveland Browns. First matchup with Deshaun Watson. Talk about that. This football team defensively is playing at a very consistent high level. This defense respects Lou Anarumo and they want to win for Lou Anarumo. Let's listen to what Lou Anarumo thinks about all that. We appreciate you being part of In the Trenches with Dave Lapham, brought to you by First Star Logistics. And we really appreciate this guy being a part of In the Trenches, none other than defensive coordinator Lou Anarumo, who, man, coach, you keep putting together marvelous game plans and your players keep executing an extremely high level for you. It's really fun to watch. You must be uh, pretty proud of what's going on. Yeah. um, As you mentioned, Lap, it's – you know, the, the group of guys that we have and the way they uh, play, their effort and uh, the way they uh, execute what we're asking them to do, it's uh, it's been at a high level against some of the better teams in our league. So, um, you know, I'm uh, really proud of the way the things are going. We uh, earlier in the week had um, Chris Sims um, on and he, he watched the tape and he said, I'm telling you what now, coaches – playing with the quarterback's minds. It's it's unbelievable to watch what he's doing and the little nuance adjustments that he's doing. You know, cover three isn't, isn't you know, there's many ways to um, deal with cover three because Coach Leon Arumo is making you deal with many ways of cover three. He's not giving you the standard cover. There's the tweak here. There's a, that, that is, that's, that's pretty high praise because that guy does, does study. And, and it's, it's pretty obvious coach that, you are making it difficult on quarterbacks. There are no, no two ways about it. You know, that's the goal, um, you know, is to keep those guys off balance, you know, especially the veteran ones, the, the great ones we're playing here uh, as of late. And, uh, you know, if they see something and um, they know what it is, it's, it's, it makes it that, that much, uh, you know, that, that much harder. Um, you know, you're not always going to fool them, certainly, but uh, you, you just try to keep them off balance as best you can. The um, this opponent, the Cleveland Browns, um, that, that's the that's the only game that, that that's kind of like the the exception to the rule. Um, the, there were four losses on the season, three of the losses by three points or less, two point loss to Baltimore and a three point loss to Pittsburgh and Dallas. And then up in Cleveland, obviously, it was a, a 19 point uh, loss. When you think about that football game, what comes to mind first and, and foremost? Um, you know, I, I just think that uh, as a team, we have to get started faster. Uh, you know, we got to stop them and, um, you know, get the ball back to our offense as quick as possible. And uh, I think that uh, on our side of the ball, I think that um, because, you know, going back to what I just said, you know, when we play uh, well in all three phases, we're going to be hard to beat. And uh, I think, you know, talking defensively, you know, we have to make sure that um, – it start, obviously starts and ends with Chubb, making sure he doesn't, you know, get his yards. Um, you know, and they, they ran the ball 44 times last last right. time we played. And, had, you know, that we had some really good snaps against them, but there was five runs in particular, you know, that ended up getting out on us and we can't have any. And then we have to do better on third down. Those are the things that we have to do better from the first game. The, the Kansas City Chief game, it, it just seems like – do you intentionally – hold on to things until like the fourth quarter, not even the second half, but down the stretch in the fourth quarter, because man, when, when the game was on the line, you shut the Kansas city chiefs out in the fourth quarter, no points. Bengals scored 10. That was the difference in the football game. I mean, you talk about closing it out. 
Did you have a bunch of new stuff that you hadn't shown Mahomes and Andy Reid at that point, Coach? There's a couple of things that we try to, you know, keep until uh, critical moments that we like. Um, and, uh, you know, that game is no different. You know, we, we, we had a, uh, one or two things uh, that we thought would, 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 again, at a critical time, maybe be something that they weren't ready for. It's not always the case, but uh, it worked out that way for us on Sunday. Did a marvelous job on Travis Kelsey, yeah. Mahomes to Kelsey. That was the, you know, that's the bread and butter, man. That's the dynamic duo. Kelsey's longest play of the day, a 19-yard completion, ended in a turnover, the only turnover of the game, Pratt. Talk about Jermaine Pratt and uh, what he means to the defense and how he's playing this year. I mean, just an unbelievable play by Jermaine. Um, uh, there's, not enough, <laughs> there's not enough time in the show uh, <laughs> to talk about Jermaine and all that he means to us in so many different ways. Uh, he's a great communicator. Um, he is a, again, I've said this before, he's coach on the field, all those things that you talk about a smart player. He's that, uh, he has a ton of ability, he's strong. As you saw him just keep grinding, they rip that ball out. It's not like it came out the first time he, he had a pull on that thing a few times for it to come out and, uh, and, 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 um, and he did, and he got it out, which was great. So he's a great one. You know, I, I, another guy that seems to be taking your, get the ball out mantra to heart is Cam Taylor Britt two weeks in a row. I mean, he knocks the ball out of Henry's grasp, mm -hmm. knocks the ball out of Mahomes' grasp, both times, you know, right around the goal line, trying to make a play where, you know, take away a touchdown and and, and have your uh, defense recapture the football. I mean, th this kid's playing at a high level, isn't he? He's coming on, you know, and then each, as I said with him, he's a rookie and, yep. you know, each, each play is a learning experience for him, but he's doing, he's a, Hard trying guy who who uh, practices his butt off. He plays super super hard, and uh, you know he keeps getting better each week. The this this matchup in Cleveland against Cleveland, I should say, is much different than the one up in Cleveland because you didn't have either your interior defensive studs, DJ Reader, and uh, um, Josh Josh Tupo. So they didn't have Wyatt Teller. They got him. So it's kind of like you got two, they got one back, you got two back. But I mean, I, I'm very interested in watching what goes on in the interior of that line of scrimmage. That's going to be where the rubber meets the road. That's going to be where the sausage is made, isn't it, Coach? I mean, it's it all starts uh, and ends there, and and the guys will uh, have a you know they have they'll have their hands full, uh, and they'll have our their hands full with us. So um, I just feel like uh, you know we've got to get out and get off to a fast good start, as I mentioned, uh, on defense and get, get the ball back to our offense as, as many times as we can. You um, have played Chubb. You play him twice a year, every year. And Henry, and, and I look at those guys as two very different style of runners. I mean, Henry is a big, tall, just massive human being. Chubb is lower to the ground, has tremendous lower body strength. Honestly, I mean, if I'm tackling a guy, I don't want to tackle Henry if he's in the open field, you know, running full speed. But Chubb is, man, in a shorter space, he's a little more clever. He's a little more slippery, a little more fluid. You know, with Henry, if you stop his feet, he doesn't get him started as fast. Chubb, I'm not saying, you know, that Chubb is, oh, Chubb's a much better back than Henry. They're both great backs, but they, they have a little bit different style, don't they? Oh yeah, for sure. I, I just, as you mentioned, just the, the nature of how they're built. Uh, you know, one's a big, tall, long guy who, you know, the shorter guy can, you know, maybe stutter in the hole quick and get back to full speed. Where, right. you know, Henry takes a little bit of a, but a little bit more time. But again, both great players, and uh, you know, we, we uh, when you play these great guys, you know, it's it's just a matter of, as we always say, a, a collective effort of, uh, you know, making sure we handle the right. Uh, take advantage and take proper angles and all the things that, that we talk about in terms of tackling and getting guys like this on the ground. When you're um, breaking down pass protections um, that offensive line coaches and coordinators combine to put together and, uh, and, and you look at what the, the family affair that goes on here, Brian Callahan, Bill Callahan, Bill Callahan's a really good offensive line coach, isn't he? I mean, I got a lot of respect for him. I, covered Bill Callahan when he was at the collegiate level as a, as a line coach and then as a head coach and in the National Football League as well. I get nothing but respect for Bill Callahan. How good is he in terms of his protection schemes and, 
and run blocking schematics and all that sort of thing. Yeah, one of the best to ever do it. I mean, you know, Coach Callahan, it's, you know, league-wide, everybody knows his reputation of what and how he prepares his players and the scheme that they come up with. But, uh, you know, he's a terrific coach, and they do a terrific job there running the football. Is that is that the – obviously with Watson, they scored in – last week's football game he's played one game in 700 days i don't care who you are it's going to be hard to get up to full speed in particular when other other players uh around the league have been building up you know their level of play on a weekly basis for a long period of time and you haven't been and boy you're thrown into it and you're supposed to catch up to that uh that full speed tempo i mean that that's a tough dynamic i would think cleveland's posture will be you know they they, they want to run it twice as much as they throw it anyway I would yeah. think that's not going to change with Watson you know, just getting used to it again. I would agree. I mean, I think that it takes time. And uh, even the best players that, that have ever been around, if they don't practice, they usually don't play so good. And uh, so, listen, he's he's full of talent. Uh, he's one of the one of the better quarterbacks in our league when he's up to speed and playing. And, um, you know, you can see his athleticism. He hasn't lost that for sure. I just think, as you mentioned, you know, when the live – when it's live again, um, you know, things move a little bit faster than you remember. And, and um, you know, it, it does take you a little bit of time. But uh, we also know how dangerous he is and, and what a great player he can be. A guy that uh, complimented uh, Chubb in the running game in the in the first matchup was Amari Cooper. He, he caught balls for over 130 yards. And I think he might have had at least four, maybe five catches on third down. I mean, he, he, he did some damage on third down, didn't he, Coach? Yeah, he he was a guy that we tried to uh, pay attention to. Obviously, we didn't pay enough attention. Uh, you know, I think losing Cheeto in that game kind of sent. Uh, yep. You know, we were trying to scramble a little bit there, but uh, he's he he is a great player, and uh, so is Peoples Jones. You know, in terms of he has hurt us in the past, so they've got two good wideouts. They've certainly I'm not sure what uh, the tight end whether he'll play or not in Joku, but if he does, he, he's a, a one of the better tight ends in our league, and obviously you have the running back, the O line, so. They're talented across the board. They're well coached. Um, you know, it's always a challenge. So, I, I know watching watching the tape, uh, little things on the sack that Osai made. He made a great play, a great individual play. His physical talent. Orlando Zeus Brown's a good player, but you you really helped him with the way you had Sam Hubbard, you know, at the linebacker position, and and uh, and they they slid the protection away from Zeus, you know, and. Because oh is Sam coming, we got to make sure we get big on big here. So it gave you know Osai a two way go, and and Orlando Brown maybe overset a little bit, and Osai you know burned him inside, makes the play, makes a great effort play, dives at the at the feet and takes Mahomes down, and has to settle for a fifty five yard field goal. He not only delivered for you when you gave him all that space to pass rush, but the fact is you gave him all that space to pass rush as well, realizing that they'd probably go into that slide protection. Well, I was fortunate the way uh, that played out, you know, for sure. And and Sam draws so much attention the way he, you know, has been productive. And we've, and we've aligned him there a number of times and done different things with him. But, uh, you know, to your point, Cam, or uh, excuse me, uh, Joseph uh, beats him right off the line and is able to recover. You know, he's a terrific athlete, Joseph, that is. And, you know, trying to get another terrific athlete, Mahomes, on the ground. So uh, it was a great play. And, and the guys, again, just a good, good – uh, Good snapshot there of good team defense. So let me ask you a couple of things here, Coach, as we wind this up a little bit. The Kansas City Chiefs victory. Give me one or two things that you did defensively that you felt were two of the biggest reasons that you had the performance that you had. Um, Well, again, we only missed uh, six tackles on the night. Again, you don't don't want to miss any, uh, but we we only missed six. And then when you're – and it was for minimal yards. So when you're, again, playing a team that spits the ball out and they're counting on some catch and run, you know, to get those guys on the ground the way we did, um, you know, we were able to manage the run game the way we did, you know, gave up some yards, but that was part of the game plan there. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, they had the long pass to uh, down the middle, uh, you know, on a zero blitz. Could have played that a little bit better. But uh, at the end of the day, we made them kick some field goals, and, and that's how you beat those guys. No, no doubt about it. I mean, it, so if, as I recall, was the Tennessee game, I think you only missed one, right? And you missed six in two games. 
seven missed tackles and all those snaps. Is this the best tackling football team you've had, Coach? No, I don't. I don't want to jinx it because this one's a big one. The rest of them coming up are going to be. I big. got you. I got our you. Guys, our guys have uh, done a great job, and uh, you know, hopefully, it will continue for sure. They, well, they bought into it. There's no doubt. I mean, they're 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 deadly in that regard, and uh, so. Fine. And then finally, you got the rematch with the Cleveland Browns. If you had to pick one or two things that, all right, this these have to occur for us to get, get the job done defensively and win this football game, what might those be, Coach? Uh, without a doubt, you know, uh, limiting yards by the by Chubb um, and then winning third down. There, there can be no extensions of drives. When we get them the third down, we got to get off the field. And uh, that really killed us in the first game. Um so, you know, being uh, doing a, I, I want to look at that stat sheet after the game and say, hey, we did a great job on third down. Um, and that'll be a big part of, uh, you know, because the way they run it, there's going to be some manageable third downs for them. And, and that's why it's a little bit more challenging because it's a lot of third and threes and fours and fives as opposed to longer yardages. So we got to make sure that we uh, we handle those down a distance as well and, and um, you know, win those situations and, and we'll win the game. Final, final thing, coach, and I'll get you out of here on this. I promise. Watson, you've had you you play against Jackson, uh, yeah. the best in the league at it. But how much quarterback run package do you have to prep for with Watson? Are they using him in that skill set, or is it most more of his rushing yards coming, creating, extending uh, plays while he, after he's pressured? No, they've added some things that you know he has the ability to run the ball and and. Uh, you know, I want to say it's the same as Baltimore, but they do have some similar runs that way uh, where he can read an end or a linebacker and decide whether he can pull it or keep it or hand it off or whatever it may be. So they do have that element and, and he's always been a you know deadly scrambler. So, you know, you know, there's a reason why they gave him all that money. <laughs> Man, did they ever, did they ever coach you're having an outstanding season as a coach. Your players have an outstanding season responding to you as a coach. Appreciate your time. Good luck in this one. Thanks, Lap. Always a pleasure. Dave Lapham here, and every day I am grateful for my experience to have played professional football. As a player, I realize self-motivation, leadership, and appreciating your teammates are key. At First Star Logistics, you can use those same attributes to create the life you want for you and your family. Build your future by working hard like I did. You'll see results both on and off the field. Call First Star Logistics today and be part of our winning team.